What's good, YouTube? That one ain't too. You're back again, once again. And today, people, today I'm not gonna touch the table because it made the camera shake like crazy. And last week, Scallows Power to an opening, so I'm not gonna touch. I'm just gonna keep my hands to myself. We're gonna make it do what it do. Anyways, this week, you guys, we are opening up. Oh, look what we have here. Look what we have here. We have the Del Fox. The Del Fox. The Del Fox. If you can't see it, we have the Del Fox. Callow's Power 10. Of course, we're going to go through all three of them, so that means that next Sunday, we're going to open up the Chestnut EX10. Uh, but yes, we're going to be opening up one of these uh, Del Fox EX10s today, and uh, you guys might be wondering what are we going to do with the other two. Of course, you guys already know, whatever we open on the channel, we're going to give one out to one of you guys watching. In this case, we're going to give two out, um, and last week, we actually gave out we actually gave out i'm trying to make as little as minimal movement as possible because i don't want the camera to shake um but we actually uh gave out two of these bad boys right here and uh the winners are going to be announced in the video today uh of course that's that's how it works it's the week after so i mean this is what what can i do i can't announce in the exact same video so i don't know either way um like i said we're gonna give away these two greenwich ex 10s today and we're gonna open up a del fox one and hopefully we can get a full art like we did in last week's that would be amazing that would be absolutely amazing but either way if you guys are excited for this week's 10 opening make sure you smash the yell out that like button down below for us because you already know your support is greatly appreciated and of course if you want to enter to win one of these del fox ex 10s how many times have i picked these up so far in the in the minute that we've been recording how many times have i picked these up and put them down pick them up and put them down pick them up and put them down by the way if you want to enter to win one of these one of the two lucky winners all you gotta do is let us know what is your favorite card whether it be because of the card art or its uses in the tcg let us know what your favorite card is from the x and y base set the flash fire base set, the base flash fire set or the Furious Fist set. It could be through any one of those three sets. Let us know what your favorite card is in the comment section below. And of course, make sure you smash the like button for us. But without any further ado, I'd say it's time for us to open up a tin. But first, before we even open up our Del Fox tin, we're going to go ahead and give away our first Greninja EX tin right here, right now. The first one is going to go away to Musketeer Games Corn. He says, my favorite of the X and Y booster box is the Skarmory EX full art. I think the gold outline complements the blue and the purple background, and the pose or picture of Skarmory makes it look like he is ready to kick ass and take names. He's also a perfect addition to my mineral deck for my Pokemon Card League deck. So it's nice that he included not just its appearance and its art, but it's also it's TCG usage, so bloody check your inbox. You got yourself a Greninja EX. <laughs> so there you go. We'll announce the winner of the second one later on in the video as well. But now, for real, let's get into this Del Fox opening. It's kind of interesting how we're gonna do this because it's like overcast outside right now. That's why it's really like I don't I don't know, like the lighting's weird. Like it's not as bright as it was before. It's it's been we've had bad weather for the past day or so and whatnot. But out of the way, we're gonna go ahead and rip the old plastic off of this one right here. I hope I chose a good one out of the three that we have. If not, then one of you or two of you lucky viewers might get something really really good in one of these tins. Of course, when you guys do get your sets from these uh these giveaways make sure you tweet it at us let us know if you got any really really decent cards or whatnot by the way as you can see we're gonna go ahead and slide that there I mean you really can't see it it's so zoomed in it's so zoomed there right now but you really can't see much of anything right there can we slide this in here nice and nice and easy nice and easy we're gonna go ahead and take the powerful tin mm, the powerful tin off just like that we are doing we are doing all of the most today. I think we're gonna slide this back just a tiny bit. So yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and pluck the Greninja, not the Greninja, what? I got Greninja on the brain. We're gonna go ahead and pluck the Del Fox EX card out of there. And that is a very, very beautiful card, if I do say so myself. It's so reflective. Like, I feel like it's even more reflective than the Greninja one was. I don't know why. It just is. It's got the moves Psybeam and Wonder Flare. Your opponent reveals his or her hand. This attack does 40 more damage for each energy card in your opponent's hand. Ooh. That's powerful. That's powerful. It takes it takes a little bit to get the move off, but it's still very very powerful. I love that. Look at the Delphox EX. Ooh, you see how shiny it is? Like you can see myself in the card. You see that? Do you guys see that on the on the card screen? You can see my reflection in the card. That's how shiny it is. Like it's so much shinier than the Greninja one. I don't know why this is so shiny. It just is. But either way, we have the Delphox EX. We're gonna sit it right here so that everyone can see it still. Let's get the team cover out of the way. We're going to go ahead and slide this back over. We can take this off the plastic. Of course, for these 10 openings, you guys can go ahead and have the codes on the card. Go ahead and grab that first one to get you gets it. Then let's see what we have inside of here. What booster packs do we have? Looks like we have two Flash Fire. We have an X and Y. And then we have Black and White Legendary Treasures. 
Two. That's very, very interesting. Of course, there's nothing else in the tin. Let's do. We can just take this plastic out and just. Oh, it's a nice and empty tin. It's a nice and empty tin. It's a nice and empty tin. I mean, it's nice for your card storage. You know, I used to. It used to baffle me when I was a kid. I was like, why do they give you this gigantic tin when all you get is four booster packs? And one little EX card, well it wasn't an EX card, but one little promo card in it. Like, I never understood tins when I was younger, but it's whatever, it's nice storage. By the way, like I said, we have uh, Pyroar Flash Fire, we have Mega Kangaskhan Flash Fire, we have Xerneas X and Y Base Set, and then, uh, what's his name? I almost said Getsis. Genesect on the Black and White Legendary Treasure. So let's go ahead and open them up in order, starting off with this Pyroar Flash Fire, and hopefully, hopefully, we get something decent. I'll go ahead and turn it away from the camera so nobody can see. Nobody can see. Of course, like I said before, you guys can have the promo card from this one. So you can check it out there. Again, first one to get it, gets it. That's where you can show up to the videos nice and early so you can get it. So let's see here. We got one, two, three, one, two. Slide those around just like that. All right. And we're going to start off this one with a Dust Skull. Look at the little Dust Skull. It's got a move called Sneaky Placement. <laughs> sneaky Placement. Nice and sneaky. Nice and sneaky. So we have a Dust Skull. Then we have a Lit Leo with the disgusting, the nasty, the nasty, the nasty 3D model. It's whatever. Then we have a Sandile. Then we have a Bergmite. It's got a move called Stomp Off. Hello. Hello. Look at the little feet. What is he going to stomp off anything? What is he going to stomp off with his little feet like that? Anyway, he's got a Bergmite. Then we got a Stunky. We got a Rapid Dash. That actually looks very, very powerful. I like that card art a lot. We have a Rapid Dash. Then we have a Pokemon Center Lady. We actually pulled a full art Pokemon Center Lady in last week's tin opening. So if you guys missed that, you can go back and check it out and see it in all of its glory and grandeur. Then we have a Love Disc. Nice and Love Disc. We have a Reverse Holographic Duskull. That's the hollow of the pack. Nice and Reverse Hollow. And then we have a Snorlax. Again, not holographic. Ah! When we did the Flash Fire opening. Flash fire opening, I pulled like three of these things. And it makes me so angry because I really, really like this card. I really, really do. Look at that Snorlax. I really, really like that art for whatever reason. I just want a holographic one. Oh, I want. Can't have it. Anyways, nothing too crazy special from that one. Nothing too crazy special from that pack, but that's okay, that's okay. So we have another Flash Fire pack that we can open right now. I don't actually have a Mega Kangaskhan EX, or I don't have a Kangaskhan Full Art. So it would be nice, 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 if we could get one of the two. One of the two. Oh, 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 tapping the camera, moving the camera around. Let's go ahead and crack this one open. Once more, you guys can go ahead and have the code on the card right there. So let's go ahead and move one, two, three, one, two, move them over, move them over, move them over. And as we flip, we have a Flabe Bay to start this one off. Flabe Bay. Hey! Then we have a Sandile. Nice and Sandile. We have a Bergmite with Stomp Off again. I guess if a group of them jump you, I guess they can stomp you off. We have a Pineco. He's got one move called Ram. <laughs> we have a Pineco. Then we have a Spiel who's just as happy as can be. Then we have an Avalug. He doesn't have, he has Shatter. He's got Shatter. He's got not a Stomp Off. He's, is that what it's called? It was Stomp Off, right? Stomp Off, and he's got Shatter. Okay. Then up next, we have a Magnetic Storm. Each Pokemon in play has no resistance. Ooh. Ooh. Then up next, we have a Sneasel. Then we have a Reverse Holographic Geodude. This is one of the reverse hollows. Like, why? It's a Geodude. And then we have a holographic Milotic. Ooh, not bad, not bad, not even bad. I like this art a lot. When I first pulled it from the Flash Fire deck, I was like, oh my lord, look at this. Did I say deck? I meant booster box. I was like, look at this. I like this a lot. I like that a lot. That's a really, really nice card. So Milotic, you can go ahead and chill back here with Delphox EX. Cause you're the best thing we pulled so far. You're the real MVP. You're the real MVP, Milotic. All right, so up next we have the X and Y booster pack. Hopefully, 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 we can get something good. It will be nice if we can get something good. You guys can go ahead and get the code once more. Go ahead and pull that code off real quick. I'm gonna go one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two. Up next, we have a Chessman, or I should say, starting off, we have a Chessman, then a Taylo, Taylo, then a Spritzy, then a Ladybug, then a Lillipup. A Max Revive, a Sableye with that weird, that awkward, creepy art. Like, I know it's Sableye, but still. 
Then we have a Dodrio. We have a Reverse Holographic Great Ball. Ooh, look at that. And then the rare of the pack is a Tauros. Not holographic or anything, just a Tauros. Just a Tauros. I mean, I like Tauros, don't get me wrong. Tauros is cool, but I mean, still, you'd expect... This card feels, like, rather thick. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe I'm just freaking out. So, I don't know. Either way. So, Tauros is the rare of that pack. So, really, we haven't gotten much of anything. So, I'm guessing these other two Delphox tins are going to be the ones with all the power in them. And last but not least, we have the black and white Legendary Treasures pack. So, let's go ahead and crack this one open. And hopefully, hopefully, we can get something good out of this one. Out of this one. Out of this one. Open. Open Sesame. All right. So, again, you guys can go ahead and have that code on there. Go ahead and grab it, grab it, grab it. First come, first serve. Uh, I don't know if uh, this is going to work the same. I think some people were telling me from last week that it doesn't work the exact same. That little trick. I just moved the camera again. All right, so first off, we're going to start with a Tim Pole. Ah, and then we're going to go to a Crow. <laughs> Look at his face. He's like, hmm. <laughs> He's like, you mean school starts today? <laughs> we got a Crow Gunk. Then we have a Tepig, again with humans on Pokemon cards. Then we have a Gothita with that nice and powerful musical art. I love that. I love that. We got a reverse holographic Solosis. It's got a move called Nap. Really? Really? Nap and Ram. Yeah, we didn't do it correctly because it's got the reverse holo right there. Then the... This is not the rare of the pack. I was going to say, I thought that was the rare at first. But we have an Ursaring. We have a powerful, powerful Ursaring right there. Then we have a Ryalu. Ryalu. Then we have a Duat. Ooh, Duat. Duat, Duat. Look at the Grimer in the background. Not even bad. Nice and Duat. Then we have a Fion, which is the rare of the pack. Which is the rare of the pack. And then we have a Growlithe with Rest and Lunge. And apparently, you guys told me in last week's video, because we did scoop up this Purloin. Let me get it. Let me get it. It's right here. Come here. Yeah. Apparently, we scooped up this Purloin last week. Apparently, in all of the Black and White Legendary Treasures, they give you one of these cards. I guess you can consider it like kind of sort of like an extra, I guess. I'm not sure. As you can see, it's got like all that glitter on it and whatnot. Uh, I can't remember the name of it, but it's like some separate set that's included inside of the Legendary Treasures. There's only 25 of them total. This is 13 and this is 4. Um, it's RC. What does it stand for? Radiant. Radiant Collection or something like that. Um, apparently, it's like the American version of some Japanese set or something like that. I don't know exactly the details off the top of my head. Um, a couple of you guys explained to me in the comment section last video, though. So, it's nice. It's nice. It's nice. I had a feeling that we were going to get another one of these. And I like it. I like it a lot because it really sets the card out for everything else. Just look at all the glitter that's on it. That's insane. It's insane. I love it. I love it. I love it. So, I guess if you want to say so, the Del Fox and my look were the best things we pulled this week. <laughs> Not every single tin opening is going to be stellar and amazing and whatnot. So, hopefully... Whichever one of you guys ends up winning the one of these two remaining Delphox EX uh, Kalos Power Tins, hopefully you guys get something just a bit better than I did. And I think that we're going to go ahead and pull the winner for our second Greninja EX Tin from last week right now. Let me go ahead and pull their comment up. I can't see it. I can't see it. I can't see it. I can't see it. Let me read the name. Let me read the name. Let me read the name. Uh, and Ridjor. A-N-D-R-I-J-O-R. He said, I just love the Electivire and Magmortar cards from the Furious Fists, Fists set. Just look at each and see how the Electivire or Magmortar are in the front and then the other ones in the back supporting with their own type of move. Also, the moves are a lot stronger when they're both in game. Plus, they look like anime rivals joining forces to beat a really strong opponent. So, again, he went over not just the art, but the, the, the in-game TCG viability of it, which just is just amazing in my mind that you guys actually look into it in that in-depth and whatnot. So, again, all you guys have to do if you want to go ahead, well, number one, number one, Mr. A-N-D-R-I-J-O-R, however you pronounce that, check your inbox, bro, because you're going to have some information regarding your Greninja EX-10 in there. So check it for me, bro. And uh, like I said, if you guys want to get your hands on these Delphox EX-10s, I'm going to leave those two standing right there now because they're holding up the cards and whatnot. But if you want to get your hands on one of these, all you have to do is smash that like button down below for us and leave a comment letting us know which is your favorite card, whether it's just because of card art or TCG viability between the X and Y base set, Flashfire, and Furious Sisic. Furious 
That's the second time I messed that up. Furious Fish, you can choose one from any three of those sets. Let us know in the comment section below. And during next week's uh, TCG opening, next Sunday, I'll go ahead and choose two winners, just like we did this Sunday for Greninja EX. So next Sunday, we're going to open up the Chestnut EX Kalos Power Tin. And after that, we might do the... Um, Mega Charizard X and Y boxes. We might do the Ancient Powers set with the with the uh, Tyrantrum and Aurorus. I'm not sure I did yet. By the way, if you guys did enjoy this week's tin opening, make sure you smash that like button down below for us because you already know your support is greatly appreciated. And with that, you guys, I'm gonna get about. Thank you all so much for your support and thank you for checking out the video. You don't mean to that one, I need to. Uh -huh, I'm out.